Howdy folks, Corky Duke here. Bomber Crew is the game, and Playboy Rules is the name of the bomber. Now this is a third campaign in a Playboy Bomber campaign. The first bomber was Playboy Bunnies. That crash landed on the 10th mission. The second bomber was Playboy Mansion. That also crash landed on the 10th mission. And now we have Playboy Rules, which is on its uh, fourth mission. And uh, that means Sarah Jean Underwood, the radio operator, and uh, Jennifer Lavoie, the ball turret gunner, only have to fly two more missions and then they can be sent home for successfully completing their 25 missions. So let's take a look at our targets here. Let's go for this and we'll get enemy damage down for the next two missions. If we complete it, that is. Anyway, looks good. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, the target for today is Monserrato. The rest of the crew are all 10 missions behind, so they need to fly 10 more missions and they can be sent home. So that includes uh, Captain Hugh Hefner, the pilot. So. This bombing mission is brought to you by GEICO. Remember, with a 10-minute phone call, you can save 15% or more on your bomber insurance by switching to GEICO. Alrighty, let's get everybody to their position and set off to the wild blue yonder. Yes, GEICO does uh, insure B-17 bombers. Well, they should anyway. Especially in my game. Alrighty, where are we at here? And there's the target right there in southern Sicily. So we're on our way. And it's a nice day for a flight. Nice sunny skies over the green desert. It's supposed to be North Africa. It's supposed to be a desert. Why is it green? Oh, well. I have a feeling that they <laughs> used the same graphics for this. This originally came out as a game for the Lancaster bomber, for which the British uh, um, bombing missions in Europe. And uh, then they added the, the United States 8th Air Force onto it. And so I have a feeling they just used the same <laughs> graphics for the land down there. Because after all, you can't really tell the difference between flying over the British coast and that North African coast, so. Except for the fact that it should be brown, but you know. Oh well, I didn't design the game, so I just have fun playing it. And where are those fighters at? I saw them, I saw them on there. Why didn't they form me? All right, guys, we got to get our shit together here, girls. Come on, girls, get him. Knock him down. Come on, get him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There they are. All right, girls. I'll tag them and you bag them. Knock them down, girls. Got to set a new course. Our engine, our number two engine just fell off. Holy crap. Ah, uh, at least the landing gear is still there, but the engine fell off. Completely shot away. Look at that. Ah, uh, now the oxygen goes out. I gotta upgrade these systems, I'm telling you. But, if I do that instead of the... Uh, 
I'll go tag him. Okay, girls. I'll tag him and you bag him. Our number one engine's on fire. We're not having very much luck with this mission so far. Oh, that mission went, went, just left us too. So engines number one and two are shot away. Mustang fighters are here. That's some good news, about the only good news we've had so far. Fighters have been a handful for us, but well, we'll get a grip on this. Just tag these guys and we'll be good to go. Take the photo, turn around, bomb the target, and then go home. Alrighty. Okay, we just bomb this target, we can get high and dry and get out of here, head for home. <coughs> ah, another fighter. Damn, they keep launching them. Gotta destroy that base on the first pass, otherwise they keep launching fighters. Damn, see, look at that. Crap. Come on, get them, girls. Get them. Oh, sweet. There. Go get them, friendly fighters. That's it. That's what I like to see. So as we destroy this target, we're going to head on out of here. And bombs away. We got it. Let's head for home, girls. Get high and dry. Well, our landing gear is still operable. We just lost a number. We're working on only one and two engines. Or, I mean, two engines. Numbers, engines number three and four. And just number one and two have been completely shot off. But that's okay. The B-17 can actually fly on one engine. Which was something that was... One thing about the B-17 is it could take a lot of damage. And where it's proven that in this mission, that's for sure. Alright, I'm going to have to switch Gillian to the starboard sheet. That seems to be where they're coming from now. Let's get a course set for home. Get high altitude and get away from these fighters. All right, get in. Man, that gun. Victoria. Shauna, get your focus going. Come on, girls, fight them off. Christina, focus. Good job. Good shooting. Ah, crap, got an untagged one. Got to get him. Got to get him tagged. Got him, got him tagged. Good shooting, girls.
Well, this is a site. <coughs> We're almost at our ceiling, so that's good news. Heading straight for home, too. Auto tag is back. I think we're going to be all right. Our landing gear is fine. Just engines number one and two are gone. That's all right. <laughs> now, this would make the bomber very difficult to fly uh, with uh, because you would have to press the hell out of the rudder to compensate for the fact that there's no lift on the left side of the airplane. So, so the pilot would be getting very tired at this point, and he would definitely have to have a co-pilot. That's one thing this game got wrong is you can't fly this bomber with one person you need a pilot and a co-pilot and this plane doesn't have a co-pilot i don't know why but it doesn't there were historically there were 10 men to a b-17 crew and there's only nine in this game they're missing the co-pilot so i guess they just figured well we just won't put him in there i don't, I don't know why they figured that but anyway heavy bombers need two people to fly in almost all cases the b-29 the b-24 even the medium bombers like the B-25 Mitchells had to have two people flying them. So, anyway, let's, see. let's get Sean at a sick bay. Yeah, let's get her into sick bay. Why is... Okay. We had uh, Jennifer Lavoie on the tail guns. Why is that? I never ordered that. Oh, well. We'll get Jennifer back in her ball turret position. So far, it's nice and quiet. Call Mustangs, definitely. We'll have them escort us home. Especially with two engines out. <laughs> Not just out, but gone. We'll check our fuel status. We're probably running low. Yeah. We are over the target. We just need a navigation fix. We can land. I get here right when we're home. Oh well, it's all right. Well, the landing gear is all right. That's probably been the most important thing on these missions. Number one and two engines are gone. They're just they've been shot away. So and that's what I lowered the engines. So that's probably why they're shot away. Because I had to uh, get money for to upgrade our our gun gun turrets. Now we can get the fifty or the quad fifties, so we're going to be needing to upgrade to those. Because those are sweet. You want to see some sweet firing? Watch those quad fifties in action. Wow. So in the later missions of the Tennessee Titan, you can definitely see it. And. Uh, just how powerful they are. The fighters just blow up before they even get to us. That's what we want. We want the fighters to blow up before they get to us. 14 minutes, that's plenty of fuel, considering how close we are to base. And we're still... Coming down, let's come down a little bit faster. Thank you. 
14 minutes, we got time to circle around and land. Should get to use the lean one more time, too. Thanks for your help, boys. Okay, Hugh, turn that thing around. Let's get landed. There's the most beautiful sight in the world, the landing gear. And anyway, this should give us enough money, hopefully, to start upgrading the gun positions to quad 50s. So we'll start with the ball turret. So fighters are always coming in low. And then, uh, then we'll advance the top and then the tail. And those things are going to be expensive, too, I tell you. <clears throat> but once we get that, We'll be in really good shape. So I guess I'm going to halt uh, the upgrades of everything else until I get those gun turrets upgraded. Hopefully we have the weight to do that. Because those, uh, those quad 50s are definitely, uh, they definitely add weight to the bomber. So anyway. We're at, we're home. We are home. Let's see, can we get a quad 50? Do we have enough money? Probably not. But that's good. Enemy damage down for the next two missions. That'll be really good. When they shoot at us, they're not going to do as much damage as they normally would. Oh, sweet. That's... That's the beauty right there. 5000 for that recon photo. Okay. We're definitely going to be able to get at least one gun position to quad 50s. So it'll be the ball turret. That means Jennifer LeBoy. Heavy fighters. Okay, the APM was against heavy fighters. <clears throat> All righty. Let's go into those upgrades. Alter it. Ten thousand. Man. Oh, well. That's what we want. And we're going to save our money so we can upgrade the top turret. See, the tail turret's already at quad 303s. So we'll play with that for a little bit longer. And uh, But anyway. Well, we got it. The ball turret's at quad 50s. That's, a, that's the highest upgrade we can get. So anyway. <clears throat> Well, if you've been watching, thanks for watching. CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, and share my videos. This has been the fourth mission of uh, Playboy Rules. Uh, so that means Sarah Jean Underwood, the radio operator, and Jennifer LeBoy, the ball turret operator, only have to fly one more mission, and they can be sent home. Uh, so uh, if you were watching, thanks. Uh, Y'all take care and for the mission number five of Playboy Rules. We'll see you next time. Bye.